What is Storage Area Network or SAN? What is Network Attached Storage or NAS and what is Disk Attached Storage or DAS? Let's start with the most simplest form of storage which could be present in your home office called DAS. DAS stands for Direct Attached Storage. DAS refers to any storage device connected directly to a computer. Examples include HDDs, SSDs, and optical drives. While DAS can refer to internal storage devices, it most often has an external hard drive. A simple example of DAS is an external hard drive connected through a universal serial bus, USB cable. When we discuss about storage, we mean multiple drives, array of disks acting together in some way. The DAS concept is the same whether it's 1 or 24 drives. SAN or Storage Area Network, it's a dedicated network. SAN is literally a separate network devoted entirely to storage. SAN is used for data storage and this network consists of multiple disk arrays, switches and servers. It is interconnected with fiber channel and connected to the outside world through a fiber channel switch or bridge. It is a special high-speed network that stores and provides access to large amounts of data. It accesses the data as if it was a local hard drive. NAS or Network Attached Storage If you wanted to store data in a centralized location, where it can be accessed from all of your devices on your network, you can do this by using a Network Attached Storage Device. A Network Attached Storage Device, NAS, shares files over the network. Theoretically it is almost identical to the external USB hard drive, except instead of a USB cable connection, a NAS will be using an Ethernet connection or some networking cable like LAN. NAS devices have a shareable resource. Multiple users and computers can use that resource. NAS is a box that will have multiple hard drives and a RAID configuration for redundancy and, it'll also have a network interface card that will directly attach to a switch or a router. The protocol that SAN uses is IC, Fiber Channel. NAS uses NFS protocol. DAS uses SATA, SAS protocol. The type of storage that SAN uses is block storage. NAS uses block storage, DAS uses file storage. Advantages and disadvantages of SAN. It is a fast network since it is a dedicated network. SAN is scalable and redundant. Any number of storage devices can be added as needed. SAN maintenance can be done with zero downtime. We can upgrade, replace defective drives, back up our data without taking any servers offline. Disadvantages of SAN SANs are very expensive as fiber channel technology is expensive and maintenance requires a higher degree of skill. Since it is expensive only large corporations can afford it. Better performance will still be found using DAS hardware. It requires multiple static IP addresses. Advantages or disadvantages of NAS NAS uses shared resources. It is easier to set up and configure versus SAN. It allows users permissions, folder privileges, restricted access to documents, etc. Disadvantages of NAS It has a single point of failure. NAS is not reliable for any database like MySQL slash PostgreSQL as it uses NFS, network file system. It has slower latency and potentially maximum data transfer issues because it shares LAN with other resources. Suitable for medium-sized or small-sized corporations. Advantages and disadvantages of DAS DAS is almost always faster, cost-effective and scalable. It is simpler to set up and configure over NAS or SAN. It does not use IP addresses. Network is not necessary, faster and better latency over SAN or NAS. Disadvantages of DAS Dedicated resources are needed for a single computer. DAS cannot be used over the network. Usable mostly for home office or small corporation.